We then met this lovely man who has told us he has a warehouse where he also has football stuff in. I'm stressed. But we had a budget to work with. Budget's gone. So many football shirts. I think we might have had the um, item of the video here. You ready? This week our target is Robert Mack. This is our only hope. Players are there. What am I supposed to do? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> No! I forgot concussion. Hello and welcome back to Football Shirt Hunting. In the last episode, we started off our European adventure in Romania, in Bucharest. This time, we've moved over to Hungary because we're, we're hungry for more. Do you get it? Because obviously Hungary is the country and Hungary means that it's the joke because I'm hungry for more football shirts and we're hungry because I want to get the sh I'm hungry for more. Do you get it? Do you get the joke? No, Jody, because the joke is that... Yeah, that's not funny. This is a series in which we hunt for the best, the rarest, and the most obscure football shirts in all kinds of locations, and are split into three sections. Section one, thrift stores and flea markets. We go around to random thrift stores and flea markets and hunt for really rare, really obscure, retro football shirts. Section two, we go to outlet malls. We go to an outlet mall in each city to see what modern shirts we can find at cheap prices. We then also buy a shirt each episode to give away to one of you from the outlet malls. In the last episode, we gave away a Germany Euro 2020 home shirt that we picked up in an outlet mall for 23 pounds. Here is the winner from last episode on screen right there. They won the Germany shirt. All you have to do to have a chance of winning this week's giveaway is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tick that bell notification button, then you have a chance of winning the shirt we give away in this episode. And the final section, we try to get a match-worn shirt from the game we attend during the away day. Here is the trailer for the away day we filmed in Hungary. Penalty! It's a penalty already! Four minutes in. a Belgian pig being slaughtered. We tried to get a match worn shirt. This week our target is Robert Mack. If we're successful in getting a shirt from him from that game, it will then be auctioned off to raise money for a charity. Anyway, just before we get into this episode, a word from this episode's sponsor, Manscaped. Us really manly men need to groom ourselves whether we're in England or in a country like Hungary as well, which is a good job the Performance Package 4.0 from Manscaped comes with this handy travel bag so you can take your grooming kit on the go. The Performance Package 4.0 is the perfect package for anyone for their male grooming needs and it comes with the Lawn Mower 4.0. It is the perfect trimmer, it is waterproof and it also comes with a 4K LED light for precise shaving. The Weed Whacker Nose and Hair Trimmer to sort out those really long nose hairs. You also get the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver with the package too. And finally, you also get a pair of boxes bundled in with the deal and the previously mentioned travel bag too. This has genuinely been incredibly useful. We've traveled to Bucharest and Budapest and both times I've brought this with me and it's worked very well. And best of all, you can save 20% on the Performance Package 4.0 using the code AWAYDAYS at checkout when you're going on Manscaped. Yes, it's the code AWAYDAYS to save 20% on the Performance Package 4.0. Check it out at the top of the description and a huge thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Let's get into this hunt. Come on, let's start with the thrift shops. Come on, Jody, come on, quick, quick, come on. We're off. Stop one of football shirt hunt in Hungary is Humana Vintage. There's these all over Europe. There's loads in Portugal. There's loads everywhere. We're actually gonna to go to a few of these in this episode, hopefully. This is probably gonna be the most expensive of the ones we go to. Confident. 8% of people in Hungary like football. Not so confident. Where are we? <laughs> I don't think it's the best of starts. But you know, that's the beauty of this. We have so many different places to go to. I'm the only man in here. Let's look, pan around. I don't belong. I hope they're not all like that. It was more like a kilo sale. It was, it was chaos. Oh, we keep going. We don't give up. We don't let this slip. Keep going. Second Humana. This one seems more like a shop. 
So um, as you can see, if you just shot on screen right now, this one's more of a shop, less of like a kilo sale. This is like a vintage boutique, it says. So hopefully football shirts are considered boutique. We'll see. See where the word boutique was used. Look at this. It's a turkey jacket. Retro turkey jacket. Rig of the chicks, come on! Turkey jacket was fake. By the way, Levi's. Hello guys, oh they're bit. I could wear them up there and they're still, look. Who's got legs this long? Oh, Peter Crouch. Third shop, third Humana. Let's get inside. You can see on screen again, it is just, this time it's a boutique again. Third time lucky, third time's a charm. Also, another side note today, it's my birthday. They can't not let us find anything on my birthday. Is that how it works? Club Bruges, we found an item. It is small, we keep going. PSV. Yes. Too jazzy? Yeah. Yeah, too jazzy. Of all the things you expect to find, Stoke City. <laughs> right, so we got two items. We actually have two items. We got this PSV jacket, which was 5,400. Lovely. And then we also got the Club Rouge one, which I showed as well. We'll talk about them more in more detail at the end. Um, came to 27 pound, which do I think that's cheap? Not really, it's probably what you'd expect to pay for these two items. I didn't get the Stoke one because I was like, who wants a Stoke jacket for 15 quid? Now we move on to the other ones and we can be a bit more selective with what we actually buy. But it's not a bad start, two items for three shops. Let's keep going. Come on. Next up, literally two doors down, there's another one called Cream. As you can see, it's um, it looks more like an actual shop, but it is a second hand store. So let's get inside. So far the cream's gone off. Oh. Generic Brazil shirt. We didn't find anything in there. It was kind of like as the George stuff. Sergio Giorgini. But like Jody said, there's a Union Jack on the flag. So we wonder if it's been donated from England, which would be unlikely, but who knows? Anyway, the next ones we're going off to are like secondhand vintage stores. So they hand pick the stuff that they sell. So they might be from football shirts, but they're probably going to be a bit pricey. Next up is Retroc Vintage Clothing. The Google reviews say there's some amazing stuff in here, but it's expensive. I did find something. I found a Chelsea club shop jacket. 4,980, that is over a tenner. So that was the biggest retro and vintage second-hand store they have. We didn't find anything. I mean, so far we've been to, what is it, four or five stores now. We found two items. I would say maybe I'm a tad disappointed, I don't know, because I think Romania was so great that I then expected here to be great. But also what we need to bear in mind is we've still got like eight or so stores to look around and the size of them doesn't really matter because surely the biggest store isn't going to factor to the biggest things. Like, it's going to factor to the biggest things, sorry. So football wouldn't really feature in there because as I've said before, and I want to make it very clear, going to Europe, I want to see what these different countries have to offer and obviously Hungary isn't too keen on football, so why would they stock football stuff? Next up we have Anti-Factory, which I've heard good things about. It's supposed to be good, um, and the lighting's on, and it says it opens one till seven. It's now five past one. So the reality of the situation is, it did open, but there wasn't anything in it. There's two or three more stops to look around. We've only found two items, and technically we haven't found a football shirt. How have we not found a football shirt, but we found a Stoke City jacket? Panic stations are kicking in at the moment. We're back at Cream. It's a different cream. This one's semi-skimmed. Ha 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 ha. I'm stressed. It's my birthday today. Please cream. Make me... I can't make a cream joke. That's really... Oi. Let's have a f***ing bare It's a jacket for FC Basel. Others too. 3499. Nine pounds? Um, I know I said I was going to buy that shirt, buy that jacket, but I decided against it. I mean, the whole point of this series is finding either rare or cheap stuff. And for £8.40, I don't think that Basel jacket is a very good deal. Let's keep going. We've got a few more thrift stores to look around. Positivity. Last stop for today in terms of second-hand or thrift stores is Swapis Ruha Forgo. I've definitely butchered that pronunciation. Come on, before we head off to the outlet malls, this is our last hope. Just something, please. It's all women's clothes. All of it, it's all women's clothes. We can't have a football shirt in an episode where all I get is a bruised jacket and a PSG one. So, just when it thought like all hope was lost, we found this is a shop 
dedicated to sportswear, football shirts, basketball stuff, secondhand stuff, in the middle of Budapest, we might have struck gold. Look at all these shirts here. There's so many, so many football shirts. Few not original, some original, but we're gonna we're gonna try and see what we can find and hopefully we'll be fine. <laughs> it's Norwich. We've been given access to look at stock that isn't actually out. What is going on? This is like a, this is a gold mine. I think we might have had the um, item of the video here. You ready? Amazing. <laughs> so we've, we, <laughs> what is going? <laughs> How badly this is going? This is like an amazing shop. If you if you are ever in Budapest, come here. This is. He's, he's gone upstairs to see if he has any more stuff for us. But we had a budget to work with. Budget's gone. <laughs> um, I spent 180 pounds. This is only section one. <laughs> so in a turn of events, and probably for the first time in football shirt hunting, after going to that store, we then met this lovely man who, um, who has told us he has a warehouse where he also has football stuff in. So we're now going to a warehouse in Budapest to look for football stuff. Yeah, just just to be precise, uh, it's not my warehouse. It's, it's a big warehouse where I rent a, a place. We have a website like like other other stuff, and we, we collect shirts too. So I will show this lovely young English pair. <laughs> <laughs> How have we ended up at a random warehouse in Hungary? I don't know, but I love it. I love this series so much. <laughs> Where are we? So this is the warehouse we've been we've been taken to. It It literally is like Budapest version of classic football shirts. It's amazing. So what is your website called? It's called uh, mezek.hu, like M-E-Z-E-K. It's it's shirts. Gifted me a Ferenc Vara shirt as well. It's very kind. Thank you very much. The 90s Dortmund there. Uh, is that in England? Italian 93rd? But like, those are the classic Germanys, like the long sleeve. That is amazing. So here is um, a Bayern Munich shirt from 80 to 82. Um, most likely match worn. Obviously can't be confirmed, but it's very likely it was match worn. It's just here. It's, um, they want 300 euros for it. Can't do it, can I? Can I? <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. They have some match-worn England youth shirts. Um, one was Kieran Dyer, one was Matthew Upton. Um, I'm gonna, I've offered 100 pound for the youth one, uh, the long sleeve, and it's been accepted, right? Yeah, 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 so, you can take it. Thank you very much. Do you feel like you're dreaming? That's a great day, <laughs> <laughs> great day. So, it's gonna be some tasks trying to top what we just did in the first section. But in this one, we're now at Premier Outlets. There's an Adidas at least. But uh, to be honest, we could find nothing and we're already done. So let's have a look around the outlets. Let's see what we find. Let's try and find a shirt to give away to one of you guys. Let's do this. First stop is Nike. Our first stop when they do these is always Nike. If there's a Nike outlet, we're always gonna go in there first. So let's have a look. As I said, I'm pretty content with everything we've got. There's an Adidas outlet here as well. And then just a generic sports one, but it's the best ever football shirt hunting. So <laughs> let's try and add to it. From the Nike outlet, they've got Vaping It France shirts from the 2018 World Cup, um, and they're 50% off the lowest tagged price. So, if these are a good price, we'll consider one of them. So, Nike was good. They actually had a decent selection of shirts. As I said, I mentioned about the France ones, but they were still 35 quid, which for a shirt that's two years old, still in an outlet, I wasn't too keen on paying still. And then we had obviously the Barcelona, a Liverpool, like, Every outlet we've been to basically in Nike has the Barca and Liverpool stuff from last season and they were still £30. So I don't think there's anything worth buying. Worst case, we'll just give away one of the items from the shop to you guys because they're amazing too. Next up, we're going to Adidas. I'm guessing these Arsenal shirts were an official reissue, right? Because why on earth would they be in an Adidas outlet if not? I think they were reissued last season maybe. So Adidas was interesting. As you can see on screen, there was Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, um, Arsenal, Manchester United stuff in there. Problem is, once again, it was all 30 to 35 pound, which is actually a very good deal if you think about the fact that they're 70 to 100 pound RRP. Didn't want to spend more than 20 though. Um, so it was really cool to see so many different things in there. The only thing that was around 20 pound was once again, as with last episode, the Germany home shirt from Euro 2020. But I couldn't give away the same shirt twice. Feels a bit lazy if I do that. So what we'll do is we'll give away one of the items from here because there's so many to get through. 
Um, like I said, best we've ever had. Next up is trying to get a match one shirt from a player. So it is game day today. We're filming the away day. As I said in the intro, today's target for a match worn shirt was Robert Mack. The issue is he hasn't replied. You what? So I've gone to panic stations and I've spam messaged several Ferenc Varus players. Isn't it? None have replied either. This might be a dud again. I think it's very, there's like a 1% chance here, but we'll take you along. We'll humor it. We'll pretend I have a chance of getting one. I'm still wounded about last week's. Octavian. Reminder that any match worn shirt we get in this series is going to be auctioned off for charity. That is the point in this. I'm not just needlessly begging players for shirts. There is actually a reason for this. Let's go there. Let's try and get a shirt from a player, although it's very, very unlikely. The main fat, we're near the away fans, they won't come near us. What am I supposed to do? This is a disaster. At least last time the players came close to us. When ne Next time we'll get one. Third time lucky. Another bust. Well that was f***ing dreadful. That was eventful. I'm home. We had to buy a bag because it wasn't allowed for airport customs. <laughs> it's going to be very quick here before we get into reviewing them shirts. That was mental. Like, we were just in a second-hand sports store in Budapest. There's just a football shirt one, as we saw in the video. Um, this guy just looks at me and he's like, you've worked with classic football shirts before, haven't you? I was like, yeah. He's like, do you want to come see my warehouse? And then that all happened. <laughs> like, what were the chances? Obviously, once again, unsuccessful with the match-worn shirt. I think we may need the comment section to help me with a new strategy because, I mean, we got close with the first one. These ones, mate, that was just a bar. It's pretty pointless this time. And obviously the outlets, I think it might be the same in pretty much every country we visit. We'll keep trying, but um, yeah, let's get onto the shirts we got. Let's start with the two jackets we got in the thrift. We got a PSV and a Club Bruges one. I mean, for the money we spent, I think I said it came to around 25 quid. I could maybe say they're worth 15 each, so 30 pound in total value. It's a good job we found that sports store after these, to be honest, because would have been pretty underwhelming if all we had to show was was these two jackets. <laughs> then we move on to the sports store in which I said I spent £180. So let's have a look at what I managed to buy for £180 in the sports store in Budapest. Obviously a big part of this series now is trying to stockpile shirts to send off to Boots to Africa. Last episode we got several. This episode I managed to pick up four shirts for £1. Here they are. Bam, bam, bam and bam. Three template shirts and this fake Ronaldinho bootleg. Obviously, four for one pound, you can't really go wrong. Um, they were the only ones I could get for four for one pound. So they're going to go in the pile to donate to Boots to Africa. If you don't know what Boots to Africa do, they send secondhand football shirts and boots over to children in Africa who wouldn't usually have the supplies to play football or just to wear. So we're stockpiling shirts and then at the end of 2021, we'll donate however many we get. Now let's start with shirts we actually got. We got this Bayern Munich 11-12 third shirt. And this is actually the shirt that you guys can win just for liking this video and subscribing to the channel. So if you haven't already, please do that now. Look at it. It's a, it's a great shirt, actually. It's a medium. I know we need to start doing different sizes than mediums, but I thought it was a nice, it's really good condition. Someone will love it. Next up is this Argentina 0809 home shirt. You see this shirt quite often. I don't know why it's quite common, um, but... They go for around 25 quid. Next up is this Chelsea shirt, which is great. But if you look on the back, we've got Balak on there. The only thing I think is, I think this is the German national team print, not the Chelsea Premier League print. Can anyone clarify that in the comments? Um, I'm not overly sure as to why that would be the case. Maybe they got it at Sports Direct and the only print they had was the national team one. But if this is all good, maybe the print does check out for whatever reason. And if it does, it's worth around 40. But if not, the print on there probably makes it around 20, if that. It's hard to say. Next up is a shirt I didn't think I'd see in Hungary. It's a Hibs 0304 home shirt. 
it's cool. It's very obviously with a Carlsberg sponsor, a bit reminiscent of Liverpool, um, made by Le Cop Sportif. This one is actually around a £40 shirt, so a very nice find. <laughs> this episode and everything that happened in it was my dream for when we took football shirt hunting abroad. Insane. Next up is this France 2008 home shirt, worth around 30 quid. One thing that is worth noting on most of these shirts from this shop, they're all in great condition, other than one which I didn't notice until we got home, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a sec. Now this one, I'm gonna need some help from the comment section because I thought this was Italy's 2006 goalkeeper shirt, and it might be, but the ones I can find on Google, the badge isn't centralized. Um, but if it is their 2006 goalkeeper shirt, obviously World Cup winners, probably worth around 40 quid. But I don't actually know on this one. So if people could let me know. I'm aware I ask the comment section a lot of questions. Alright, I've never claimed to be knowledgeable. Move on. Did someone ask for England's 1998 away shirt? Because uh, I did. It is a 1998 away shirt. I love this shirt so much. It's a double XL, which obviously, you know, it's not, it's not fitting me. Um, but it's a great shirt. It's worth £70 to £90. During a World Cup or Euros, if we go quite far, you could probably get something more stupid than that. But I think 70 in a usual time is the going rate. Second from last item I want to talk about is another double XL. Amazing. This is Manchester United's 98 home shirt. What a find. This little sports store in Budapest, um, we've shown it on screen, but... If you are ever over there for like a stag do or something, then check it out because you might find some amazing items. This one is worth, I'd say, 80-ish. They go for more sometimes on more established websites, but I think 80-ish sounds about right. Then we found this Palmer 95 home shirt, the final item from this shop. And everything looks good with it, right? And I thought everything was fine with it. And then I got it home and then I noticed a big old hole. Hello. I spoke to someone about it and they were like, ah, I'll give you 30 quid for it. But I don't think it's morally right to sell it with a massive hole in it. So I think we'll just leave it for now. Let's move on to the final section. Juicy. So as I said, we went to that Mezex warehouse in Hungary. Hopefully their website has been overlaid on screen by now. But they gifted us a Ferenc Varos shirt, which every country I go to, I want to get a shirt from them. It's a size large. It was very nice for them just to gift us it. Still brand new with tags, which is... Amazing. Let's just say, for argument's sake, the value on this is £20. Obviously, I'm not going to get rid of a shirt I've been gifted, but just for the video, it's worth £20. Going into the final day of this football shirt hunting episode, we had two items, the two jackets. Did I ever imagine we would end the day with a match-worn England 1998 long-sleeve match-worn youth shirt? No, I didn't. I When we were in his car to the warehouse, he was like, ah... Oh, it's just a small thing. <laughs> I think me talking about this doesn't do it enough justice. See it overlaid on screen. Um, for all the research people have done, they're pretty sure it's Matthew Upton who wore it. But to be honest, it's not really the player who wore it for me. It's just the prestige of having an item that was worn by a player that the general public couldn't buy. Like That's the draw of it for me. I spent £100 on it. For the sake of this video, we're just going to say the value is £100. Um, they go for more, like classic football shirts sometimes get England youth stuff. They go for around 200 ish I believe, but I think for the argument of this video, and it's all just for fun anyway, but £100. And that was Hungary. Oh, are, are we ever topping that? <laughs> I think to top it, we'd need to go to countries really obscure like Moldova, um, Armenia, Andorra, countries like that. But the issues with that is there's not maybe too much football culture, um, but we'll see. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and also like and subscribe to win that great Bayern Munich shirt. Let me know on your favorite shirt we pulled in this football shirt hunting episode and help me answer the questions that I've had throughout the episode too. I've been Ellis. Be sure to subscribe for more Away Days content. Check out the last Away Days we did in um, Budapest. It was genuinely amazing. It's linked at the end of this video. If you've never watched an Away Day video, or maybe you've watched one or two and you're not too sure on them, you just love the shirt stuff, that's fair enough. But please give this one a chance. Like You genuinely will enjoy what you watch. I hope, anyway. 
Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye.